characters we got pac-man versus snake Ooh, we got some so anticipate that we will be playing this game um and there will be a lot of trades yes and I'm, there will be a lot of uh trapping on, at ledge for both of these characters yes i'm kind of interested in how this is going to work in terms of setting aside their stage space right because pac-man doesn't need a whole lot to work with and if anything it's all about trying to goad you snake similarly but snake kind of invasively creates yeah. space for himself and so this is a situation where we, we've seen Sinji, as soon as he takes the lead, can kind of play the game that Sinji is so well known for. Maintaining center stage, going back into the corner when necessary, charging through, putting a hydrant down, uh, making it ever so difficult for people to get in. Excellent oh, bell grab from, um, by uh, Bobo. Ends up not working out. However, get rid, get rid of that trampoline. Says, I want access to the whole stage, does Bobo. Yep. And oh! Huge uh, tech roll in reaction. Covered so much space there. Mm -hmm. Did uh, Sinji with the strawberry force bubble almost to, t to tech roll in and uh, baited him into rather yep, and, and I, got the F smash. And the catch on the landing there was very good too. Bobo actually making it in time to spot dodge, but Pac Man grab very active, actually punishes that. Now we're gonna see, once again, Sinji keeping to those platforms, and I like it. While Snake has ways to pressure those platforms, they are certainly slow. Um, using any aerial, or, ooh, okay, big backdoor down, uh, into the uh, C4 there. Gets a nice little bit of percent for Bobo. Um, but we've seen Sinji keep to those platforms so well. Um, and really, uh, whenever Snake has the ability to pressure, Sinji's out of there. Mm -hmm. Once All again, right. gotta get back down. Yep. Bobo does so successfully. Catching the landing on that one. Apple. Oh, uh, Apple will do it. Yeah, a little bit of a misty eye right there from Bobo, and it's going to be the end of his stock. Um, an unfortunate situation for him, but Sinji taking a huge lead uh, going into this game. And I say huge because even though Snake can kill early, Pac-Man is going to be hard to catch right mm -hmm. now. Yep, it's very difficult to pin Sinji down on this one. And although Snake can commandeer a lot of space, oftentimes it's at his own pace. And if he's trying to knock the opponent down and keep them in one spot, he needs to know where they're going to go at all times. Well, I like the way from there from Sinji, saying, all right, you're going to land, come down to me. Bobo ends up getting out of that corner, though, and now Bobo has that stage control. Going to need to take a stock here. He really can't take too, too much more percent from Sinji. I love the dashbacks up tilt that hydrant. Takes a little bit more damage. Once again, Sinji to on those platforms, knowing how difficult it can be for Snake to pressure those. Yep. And another thing about the belt is that it creates this enormous space directly in front of Pac-Man, which is extremely powerful. And if you go for it, you might even grab it if you're good with it, but then you can catch whatever Pac-Man is doing right in front of that, and you just eat a bunch of extra damage. Those offhands are so tough to deal with. One of the best ledge trap moves in the game. Uh, and Sinji is going to fall to one of them. Gets a fair in for his trouble, so gets a little bit of extra credit. I traded with the dash attack? Yeah. Oh my god. Super spooky stuff right there for Bobo because was in a little bit of lag. Sinji was unable to get a punish, but now has Bell in hand. Gonna wait for um, yeah. Bobo. That Bell disappears, not enough. Apple hasn't really huge in this matchup. I think we've seen because Bobo's been moving around those platforms, playing center stage, doing V reverses, throwing that Apple, that position covers so much uh, uh, vertical space that Snake wants to be in, as well with that really nasty horizontal uh, angle that it goes down at. Mm -hmm. We're actually seeing a remarkable amount of verticality, especially right now from both of these players. We've seen a lot of high hydrant hitbacks from Bobo on the defense, or rather offense against uh, the hydrant on that one. We've seen Sinji going high again using the apples like you say very high up and not too grounded on this one honestly yeah. certainly i think since his game plan has been to stay in the air a huge punish right there just barely getting the punish on that air dodge and since going to be up a, uh, a similar percent to what he was in the last game going for down throw interesting mix up normally goes for up throw in those scenarios <laughs> right i think it, that was supposed to be a chase from galaxian on that one but nothing doing it looks like Oh, ooh, Skitch Swiss could have maybe even got, gotten grabbed there from was Bobo. Uh, however, Sinji, Galaxian, Hydra. Bad situation to be in the corner against Pac-Man. Sends the Hydra the opposite way. Interesting. All right. <laughs> Snake trading with his... Oh, my God. Ooh, Apple coming in huge again. That up tilt. Pac-Man's up tilt doesn't have a scoop hit box. It really only is directly above him. Going to be a tough situation for um, Snake to get out of. That Apple coming out. Yep. And a lot of really tricky angles and uh, properties Ooh. with these fruit. Have to keep on your toes on this one, because although the Galaxian and the Bell are the most common from Sinji, he can pull the bonus fruits out at any time, and you have to be conscious of that. Yeah, and speaking of bonus fruits, that Bell is out. Sinji maintaining center stage, waiting for a position where Bell can come out, get, get himself a chance to grab it. But that C4 placing so good by um, Bobo, and a huge uh, armor coming out there from that side B. 
to get past that bell, mm -hmm. allowing Suzuki to preserve the stock just a little bit longer. 70% is an excellent lead so far, and gonna get a little bit more. Yep. All right. Actually opting to go off the stage on that one, giving Snake the chance to chase with that really good Hydrant on that one, a very favorable angle. Oh no! That's it? No way! That's oh, just enough, no. even on Snake, because of the rage built up by Sinji, essentially at max rage, able to kill with that up smash at an early percent for Snake to be dying at. It was right, right around 90-ish percent before the hit, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, uh. Super early. Yeah, let's yeah. take a look at that 80, one more time. Uh, okay, we are 97 already. Yep. I over the bell hit, a little bit. 106. One six. Yeah. Now, Uncharged. Granted, for Snake, that's still kind of on the low end. Snake yeah. is not a light man. No, Snake, real heavy. Mm -hmm. So 106 is not the percent you want to be dying out of Snake, unless you are, of course, getting a nice little trade that is in your favor. Mm -hmm. um, but with that said, um, Bobo has certainly, I think, struggled getting that stock off. Pac-Man has been evasive. Sinji has been evasive, keeping to those platforms. And I think immediately, an interesting thing that we've seen so far, look at the placement of the C4. On that platform, gonna be trying to keep Sinji off of it. I think it's gonna be Bobo's strategy moving further on into this game number two. Yep, not only keeps Sinji off of the platform there, but takes away a little bit of the potential vertical play that Sinji could potentially opt for on that one, which does make it a little bit trickier for him to set up Hydrant as well. Okay, big dash attack. Gets, uh, manages to cross up there. Uh, Sinji, no punish. Big trade for Snake there, allowing Bobo to maintain center stage, but immediately loses it. Uh, Sinji, once again, retreating back to those platforms. Has a little bit of lead, loses it. Um, Sinji now going to have to approach a little bit. Um, going to have to wait right. for Snake to come to him. All right. Does so, and, and once again, now Sinji back in that lead. All right. Scary place to be, goes for the grab, nice. Oh god. <laughs> Huge dash attack to keep Sinji in the corner there. But a big key backstage by Sinji to make sure um, there was a lack of a ledge shot there. With Snake in that corner mm -hmm. and Bell in hand, this is a scary situation for yep. Snake to be in. I like the idea of putting the C4 down where the Bell is, try to dissuade Sinji from grabbing it again. But uh, Sinji still managed to get his hands on it. Yeah, and that Bell no longer back there right now. However, Snake in the corner. Uh, Tekro Lin. Sinji has read that before, so we're going to see if that comes out again. That uh, trampoline on the ground gives Sinji a whole lot of space. Trampoline and Hydrant uh, get, uh, gives Sinji so much time to charge through. Set something up. Maintain, uh, you know, pressure from the platform. Ooh, just okay. barely getting out of the way of the bell. Ooh, in the corner now. Sinji, ledge trap. Ooh, Ooh what a bold to, grab! Try to catch a roll in, and Bobo, excellent positioning on that grab to not get hit. And we're seeing a lot of trading with uh, Snake's normals on this one as well to beat out Hydrant as it comes in through Down the air. Still not enough just yet. Mm -hmm. But we are at that lovely percent, 162 or higher. Nice. And didn't even need to do a down throw. You're mm -hmm. just dead to the up, up smash. Yep. I'm not sure that there's a way out of that once the first mortar shot hits your shield. I wonder if that's like a true block string it into the grab. Very well could be. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it is one of those things where uh, now Bobo in the position with the lead. And we have... Arguably the least fun character to fight for Sinji <laughs> here when it comes to um, being in the lead. However, Sinji says, I'm going to have all the fun I want, and I'm going to get this lead right back. Quick 30. Uh, but yeah, Sna Snake is one of those characters that if you can maintain the lead, so huge. Pac-Man, similar story. Mm -hmm. uh, maintaining the lead is so important in this match. You can make your opponent's life a nightmare if you can maintain it. But so far, uh, it's been tough for either player to do so. Both players taking it fairly evenly. Those up smashes coming out say, come here, Sinji, land on my Lend them my uh, mortar right now. We're, we're, we're seeing actually a lot more of these sort of aggressive committal options from Bobo trying to get in and sort of break the space to get in zone, uh, Sinji's face on this one. Um, because Sinji is uh, sort of winning this war of attrition on this one. We're seeing a lot of the bonus fruit come out, and Bobo is occupying a lot of space with these explosives, with the grenades, with the C4. Super but scary roll right Not there, too yeah. much conversions off of this one. Sinji doing a good job of staying outside of the danger zones. Oh my god. Let's go. Ooh, okay, tried to re roll back since he rolls in. Says, I'm maintaining center stage at all costs there. Uh, ends up being. No, it's still active! Oh! No! No! An unfortunate set of events there for Bobo. Oh and my it's almost god. gonna be enough. Uh, it's gonna be just enough, rather, to take that stock and Sinji with the lead. This no. is what we mentioned. We saw the longevity of Sinji's stock in that game number one. Mm -hmm. Can he maintain that? 
and make this situation ever so difficult for Snake. It looks like he'll be able to, All right. but the last hit of that dare dropping costly, even though he got that 76%, could have potentially gotten more. And now Bobo has a chance to, to continue on in this game, in this set. And you see when uh, Sinji went down on that one, Bobo went to meet the Hydra once again with up tilt. Sinji there for the punish with the Nair. Chase. Ooh, tries to catch that roll with the grab. Okay. Oh, the forward smash? All right. Says, uh, uh, look at my sick RPG. You haven't seen this all set. <laughs> um, up in the air now, though. Disadvantage for Snake. Not going to fall for the same trap as before. Right. Yep, just playing it slow with the bell. Don't need to do anything else. He's just waiting for the opportunity to get the kill. Although, Key on deck right now. And I like, I kind of like this utilization of Key. Um, it has been tough for Sinji to kind of get that final hit in. Okay, we're going far oh, away. Oh, I and the, see. The way from Sinji was nice, but what I lo loved there is saying, oh, I'm going to down smash and like, mm -hmm. Bobo's like, okay, well, I'm smart. I'm just going to wait for the hydrant to push this away. That was I'm so say, silly. All right, Bobo knows. He's like, okay, I'm just going to wait for this to push you away. And as soon as it pushes away, as soon as it's going to go this way, Pac-Man's going to be safe. Mm-hmm. No punish on that. And then Sinji's like, Aha, you've fallen into my trap. That was um, that was like a 150 IQ and 50 oh, IQ and he, play at the same time. It was so oh, stupid, he, he, but it was so smart. He dashed into Hydrant. Oh, um, dashed into Hydrant oh, yeah. as well. And that's even if that wasn't the option that Bobo had chosen there. If that was a jump, that's still a potential <laughs> Hydrant up there on that one. All right, let's see that really? again. So yeah, once again. It's so, so silly, and like the, the, the di <laughs> double silliness here. Oh my god! Double silliness here. Yeah, because the, da oh the dash my in. God. He, he just does the stop, payment time. Yeah, and the dash in here by Bobo. You can see it there. <laughs> Gets caught behind Hydrant. Oh my god! And that's gonna be it. However, we're moving on to the losers finals. Mm-hmm. I am Manel. Yep, I'm Gretch. Uh, good to have you with us. This is, That was a crazy set. I yeah. feel like we saw a lot of really cool stuff in that. I would love to have seen items thrown at the end of that set. The mm. number of items thrown. Had, oh, the number yeah. had to be crazy. Like